Look, I didn't say I'd be uploading videos every Saturday. I said I'd be uploading videos on Saturday. It's been way too long since I made a YouTube video, and I think it's time to commit. I'm thinking every Saturday. Well, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that thing that you keep hearing, blah zoom, blah zoom, blah zoom, that used to drive me nuts. I would hear that all the time, from old jazz records with Tony Williams, all the way to new modern fusion stuff. I would always hear that, dang, ka chop to put on to got into the blah zoom, blah zoom, blah zoom, and I was like, what the hell is it? But my job is to figure out what it is and then explain it to you so that you can use it in your playing. All right, this is a really, really simple lick. This is just three notes long, and that always makes me excited when I know I only have to learn three notes. It can't be that bad. So this is, like I said, extremely simple. You've got a left hand flam. That means the left hand is up, the right hand is down. Left hand flam, up to the ride cymbal, you're gonna bring in the bass drum with that, so shik -a boop and then another left hand grace noted. So, flam, right, left, flam, right, left. Now, let's try it together. I don't want you to think about subdivisions. We're literally gonna play this as quarter notes in three, four time. One, two, three, one, two, three. This will allow your brain to memorize the pattern and to memorize the motor function. All right, now after you've done that about 238,900 times, then you can start to bring it into your playing either as a one bar fill or as an improvisational figure. By the way, first person to comment below about why that number is so important to me, you will get one year of mikeslessons.com absolutely free. All right, now what I want you to do is to try it as a one measure fill. So we're going to feel this as 16th notes. Now it's three notes long, so that's gonna give us that four over three polyrhythm feel. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and it'll keep going and going for three more bars. There's no reason to do that, we can just round it off at the end. So we're gonna do three, 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 four. That will give us one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a blah doom, blah doom, blah doom, blah doom, sha ba da da. Now there's a couple cool things about this. One, because it starts with a flam, that gives us the ability to spread it out on the kit, right? We don't have to play it on the snare. The flam could be between the floor tom and the snare or the rack tom and the snare. We also don't have to sweep up to the ride cymbal. You could sweep over to an open hi-hat. You could go from right hand on the rack tom, left hand on the snare drum, and sweep over to the crash cymbal. There's so many options to really involve the entire drum set on this thing, so before you commit to a specific orchestration, make sure that you spend time just moving it around and seeing what's the version that you like the most so it becomes something personal to you. All right, now what I'm gonna do with it is I'm just gonna improvise for a little bit, and I'm not going to play it as blah doom, blah doom, blah doom, blah doom, blah doom, dee bee. I'm going to just use it the way I use it, which sometimes is only one or two times. Blah doom, blah digga do do ba ba do da do do blah doom, blah doom, da ba 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 ain't. And what I want you to do is I want you to listen and watch and see can you identify when I'm using this particular lick.
Tom Brady eating carbs. How good is that? That's got to make you feel good. Now you know that blah doom, blah doom, blah doom. Now you know exactly what that thing is. Flam, right, left, flam, right. Woo! I just get so excited about these things because I know that these little nuggets, these little chunks of notes, they confuse the hell out of me. And if I can figure them out and then break them down for you and you can use them in your playing, it saves you time, you get to practice more, and that's gonna make you a better player. All right, YouTubers, so I hope you got something out of this. And if you did, please do me a huge favor and check out Mike'sLessons.com. We are truly a family at Mike'sLessons.com. We support the hell out of each other. It's a bunch of men and women from around the world that are all going through the same thing. We're trying to improve, no matter what our skill level is, we're trying to improve at a very frustrating instrument, and we have each other's backs, and I want you to be a part of it. And to prove to you how much of a family we are, I'm gonna show you some of my students punching me in the face. See you guys next time.